fans, welcome to the Rangers News YouTube channel. My name is Cameron Willis and today I'm going to be looking ahead to the transfer windows and which players have been linked to Ibrox already this January. Rangers are obviously 19 points ahead in the Scottish Premiership, um, they're also in the Scottish Cup and they'll also be looking to go as far as they can in the Europa League. The League Cup exit stands as the only disappointment this season but perhaps we will look back at this month as being a pivotal one which either helped springboard us to success or had an impact on us belly flopping to disaster. Um, January is a weird month in general, uh, it's notoriously difficult to get deals done, players are overpriced, people are desperate, um, perhaps this window for Rangers is more about holding on to the players that we have, the likes of Glenn Kamara, James Tavernier, Alfredo Morelos etc, but it's transfers in which get fans excited so we're going to have a wee look at all the names, an incredible 10 names which have been linked to Rangers so far. And yeah, just give a wee bit of background uh, as to where they've been linked from and who the players are. The first name on the list is a deal which is apparently 90% done for a young Colombian striker coming all the way from Finland called Juan Allegri. Now, where have we heard that before? Obviously, it's a path kind of well travelled um, for Rangers players with Alfredo Morelos uh, coming from HGK Helsinki from Rangers back uh, for Rangers back in 2017. Um, Allegria has been described as more of a penalty box player, and because there's no photographs on him and Getty images, unfortunately, we're not going to have the licences to put any up just now. But Reports are coming out this morning that the players in Amsterdam potentially with a view to travelling to Glasgow for a move to Rangers. He certainly seems up for it. He's previously said that Rangers are the biggest or the best team in Scotland. Um, so he's already winning kind of favour with supporters. It'll be an interesting move if he manages to take it off. He's only 18. Um, potentially exciting deal. I, I think there's a... There's a kind of caveat to it in that Rangers will only be purchasing 80% of the player or the player's rights, with his family retaining an extra 20%, and who can blame them? He's coming all the way to Europe and hopefully doing them proud, and hopefully it will be in royal blue. The next name is probably just about as well known up until about a month and a half ago. Um, his name is Thomas Robert. You might recognise the second name uh, because his dad is Laurel Robert, the former Newcastle midfielder, he had a famous left foot, he loved to score goals from all over the park, he was a great wee player. Um, if he's anything like his dad, he would make a good signing. He plays on the right wing uh, for Airdrieonians, believe it or not, in League One. He joined them in the summer from League en Montpellier, he's, he's only 20 years old and is currently being managed by ex-Rangers player Ian Murray. Um, there seems to be a bit of legs in this one, uh, from everything that Ian Murray's kind of said in the press and the way that Airdrie are going about it. Seems to be there is a little bit of smoke here, um, or a little bit of fire rather. Uh, it's interesting, he's still young, he's, he's, this is his first season in Scotland, but Rangers aren't the only team that's reportedly interested, apparently teams across the Scottish Premiership are interested, including old firm rival Celtic, but maybe one to watch for the future, but it hasn't stopped Rangers being linked, and an interesting prospect certainly. The next name to be linked to Rangers is Bright Osai Samuel. Um, he currently plies his trade with QPR and he has six months remaining on his current deal. This is all the hallmarks of a deal which Rangers have kind of become accustomed to in recent seasons. Perhaps the most prominent example has been Joe Rebo and Calvin Bassey. And that is young English based players who are in their early 20s who have also who have a level of ped, a Premier League pedigree but they might want to test themselves out in a kind of challenging, must-win environment such as Rangers before taking that leap. I think Rangers are an attractive proposition for these players for that reason. And um, this is this is all the kind of markings of a deal which Rangers might be interested in trying to get forward, but it could depend on what happens in January. Uh, Celtic are also linked and have reportedly made the player their top transfer target in this window, which means they might put a bid forward, which could change the complexion for Rangers. I don't know whether or not they would be willing to get into or, or match that in January or they are eyeing a pre-contract deal, but 
Whatever the case, QPR manager Mark Warburton appeared to suggest that the winger's future is up in the air and that he could likely be heading out of the door at Loftus Road. Um, there is another report coming out, unconfirmed, the Turkish report, you know how reliable those are, um, about the player potentially joining Fenerbahce, but nothing official on these shores has been said about that. An interesting signing, and I think that if Rangers make it, it would be a very positive one. He's only 23, he looks to have a lot of talent, and yeah, it fits the bill um, for what we've been trying to do in recent seasons. The next name on the list is Charlton fullback Alfie Doty. Um, I, I don't know if you remember, but in the summer, Celtic had two bids rejected for the player. I think the highest one was reported to be 400 grand. Um, a pacey kind of left back, turn left winger who's earned very loose comparisons to the likes of Gareth Bale. He's only 21, he's very highly rated by Charlton and uh, Lee Boyer saw it out in the press saying that because he's currently cropped it might affect his performance in the future, try to ward teams off. It's very interesting, we know what it's like to get under the skin of Lee Boyer. So um, there, there are multiple positives to this potential deal, not least that Alfie Doty is a good player, but getting one over on Lee Boyer again and on Celtic would be an extra boost. He's, for all intents and purposes, a pacey wide player, a direct wide player with a good left foot. Um, still young, plenty of room to grow, and if Rangers did manage to get this over the line, it would be another kind of example of bringing those young English players up north. However, Stoke City are said to have made a bid for the player in January, but it's not exactly clear if this will kick Rangers into action or not. Um, an interesting player, but um, we'll see what happens in this regard. John Lundstrom is another name being linked to Ibrox. He's been linked to Rangers since the summer. Um, the 26-year-old Sheffield United midfielder is another player in the final year of his contract. Um, Sheffield United have made it clear that they've offered the kind of box-to-box -box midfielder a new contract, um, but he's yet to sign it. There are reports suggesting that that means they could let him go in January as they risk losing him for nothing in the summer. They're surely relegation bound, so perhaps that's maybe damage limitation, and it's not clear how Rangers would respond if another side came in with a, with a decent sized offer to Sheffield United. Reports suggest that Lundstrom is interested in a move to Ibrox, which is quite exciting uh, given his kind of standing down south. He's a box to box player with a bit of tenacity, bite, but good technical ability and an eye for goal. I think it's widely regarded that if Rangers can get this one over the line, then it'd be a good signing. Um, and it's certainly one to watch as we go into January and then into the second half of next season. Speaking of midfielders plying their trade down south, there's one boyhood blue nose in Kenny McLean who is reportedly interesting the powers that be at Ibrox. Uh, McLean was reportedly a target for Rangers way back in I think it was 2017 when he left Aberdeen, his contract was running down. He ended up going to Norwich instead. Um, he helped guide them to promotion from the Championship, famously swigging a bottle of Mad Dog in the celebrations. Um, he, did, he did okay in the Premier League with Norwich last season, but they find themselves in the Championship again, and McLean has been in and out of Daniel Fark's side. He obviously scored the, the what turned out to be the winning penalty for Scotland in the Euro 2020 playoff against Serbia, and given that it's no secret that McLean is a Rangers fan, it would probably top off a fantastic year if he ended up at Ibrox. There were fears about a long-term injury, but he's since returned. Um, an interesting sign in one who's continuously been linked to Rangers and it just seems inevitable that one day maybe McLean will turn out at Ibrox. Um, again, we'll see what happens but McLean is contracted to Norwich until 2023 which means that if Rangers want him they may well have to stump up for the midfielder. Sariki Dembele is probably a player that most people weren't aware of up until about two weeks ago when he was first linked to Rangers. Um, Peterborough director of football Barry Fry claimed that Rangers had been to watch Dembele twice. Um, he's a technical forward who scores the odd goals, but he is pretty the, the odd goal, sorry, and he is pretty highly rated. So it'd be an interesting move if Rangers can pull it off. Scotland Scottish national team also apparently have one eye on the player. 
Um, which is interesting considering that his younger brother is Karamoko Dembele, the kind of boy wonder that plays for Celtic and is constantly bummed up in the press. Um, can you really see two brothers splitting the old firm? It would be very, very interesting. But Rangers apparently retain an interest in Newcastle and Fulham and other teams mentioned alongside Celtic. He handed any transfer request um, to Peterborough as a as a in response to the interest, um, not just from Rangers but from all around. He has 18 months left in his deal, but the two million pound figure that was originally quoted in the press was laughed off by Chairman Dara McAntony. So it will be interesting to see what happens with regards to this if Rangers are to pounce. But with 18 months left in his deal, can you really see the club getting involved in a kind of bidding war for a player who plays in the English League One? Jacob Murphy is an interesting one, uh, given that he is only 25. Um, he burst onto the scene with Norwich nearly four years ago, and as a result, earned a £12 million transfer to St James's Park. Um, he's been there for three and a half years, but things haven't worked out quite as, as the, he would have w- wanted um, in the North East, and he's spent the last kind of two seasons on loan between West Brom and Sheffield Wednesday, but after returning to the club in the summer, impressed in pre-season and they wanted to give him a shot um, in the squad. Rangers were obviously linked in the summer, uh, he's a kind of a right winger or an inside forward from the left, uh, he's a kind of precocious talent, he was very highly rated as a youngster and he hasn't quite reached them heights. Uh, Rangers would be an interesting kind of outpost for him um, to reignite that form because there's an expectancy and a pressure to win and he would have the opportunity to go and express himself. So I can see why the Rangers link is so prominent and why it's such an interesting one. Um, His contract is up at the end of the season. Uh, Newcastle are yet to renew it. It's not clear what's going to happen with the player. He's been a bit part player for Steve Bruce's side this season, so it's not clear if they'll move him on in January or they'll get him to sign a new deal or they'll let him go in the summer but whatever the case it does appear Rangers are monitoring his situation and a 25 year old young English winger who once cost 12 million pound on a free contract I don't I don't think that's bad business at all The next name linked to Ibrox is another Croatian player. Um, Rangers have obviously got a storied history with uh, Croatian footballers. There's something about uh, Croatia and Rangers that just seems to go. Um, at the moment, we've obviously got two Croatian players in our ranks in Nikola Karic and Borna Barisic, with HNK Gorica, fullback Marijan Kabraja, and I've probably murdered uh, his name there being linked in the press recently. Um, the Rangers were actually mentioned alongside the player by the player himself, who said that Rangers were monitoring his situation. Um, I think he's 23 and is quite highly rated in the Croatian First League. Um, I think there's a number of teams interested in the player from around Europe, but any Rangers interest straight from the horse's mouth, Cabraja himself, Depends on the future of Borna Barisic. Now, obviously, Borna Barisic is the first choice fullback at Rangers, and there have been kind of musings about potential interest from elsewhere. So, if Barisic moves on, perhaps we've got a ready made Croatian replacement in the pipeline. But unless Borna goes, it remains to be seen whether or not Rangers will make a move for Cabraja. To end it on a little bit of a ridiculous note, because it wouldn't be a Rangers transfer window without some kind of ridiculous link, Rangers and Celtic have both been linked with a move for Manchester United attacker Jesse Lingard. Now Lingard is incredibly 28 years old, he gives the impression that he's much younger, he's made over 200 appearances for Man United, and like just about every other name on this list, is entering the final six months of his contract. Um, he's an interesting footballer who, with obvious ability but a lack of consistency. Um, he'd also be on substantial wages at Manchester United and it doesn't seem like a signing which would fit um, for Rangers. So I, I can't imagine us moving for him. Um, the other kind of English player that was linked, which probably isn't even worthy of its own... Um, segment was Daily Alley but that was by Danny Murphy more than a newspaper I think it was Team Talk which linked um, Jesse Lingard so I can't see it and I'd I'd, I'd be surprised if uh, Lingard made his way to Glasgow at all be it at Rangers or Celtic
Thank you for listening to me babble on about uh, the transfer window. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that we covered all the names. If there's anybody we've forgotten, please just leave a comment below and let us know. Let us know what you think about any of these players that have been linked to Rangers. If you think that they're suitable, if you think that they're absolutely rubbish, if you think that there should be other players that we're looking for, just let us know and engage in the conversation. Um, we're kind of trying to take things up a wee notch on this channel. We see a lot of potential with it and uh, we're trying to make the most of it um, by doing doing a few kind of creative things and kind of testing things out. So give us a wee bit of feedback and let, let us know what you think on this video or in any of the videos which are going to be kind of popping up over the next kind of weeks and months because we want to try and get it right. We want to make sure that we're offering the right thing and yeah, we want to have a lot of fun doing it as well. So thanks for listening. Subscribe to the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you very, very soon. Mon the teddy bears.